When we look into the night sky, we see the moon, stars, and satellites, and even other worlds. What we don't see are two regions located just above our planet where powerful energized particles from space and our sun are trapped and formed into rings by Earth's magnetic field. NASA's Radiation Belt Storm Probes mission, set to launch in 2012, will give scientists powerful new tools and data to study this critical region of space. The radiation belts are two donut-shaped regions that encircle the Earth. They're home to very intense radiation, both electrons and protons, and when these particles get very energized, they can cause problems for satellites and astronauts. The radiation belt storm probes will help researchers unlock the mysteries of the radiation belts, which were discovered more than half a century ago. The year was 1958, the dawn of the space age. James Van Allen, one of the United States' top physicists and his team from the University of Iowa, sent two special instruments into orbit aboard Explorer 1, America's first satellite. Van Allen's findings revealed the existence of the inner radiation belt, proving that Earth's magnetic field was strong enough to trap energized particles like electrons and protons. The particles in the belts are considered radiation because of their very high levels of energy. The levels are so high that these particles can damage any matter they come into contact with. The inner radiation belt is where the protons are very dominating. And a proton, as you know, is, has a mass much, much heavier than an electron. It can do a lot more damage. So you really do have to worry about your spacecraft safety in that region. What fascinates scientists about the belts is that they're dynamic structures. They change size and shape depending on the sun's activity. When our sun sends out an eruption of plasma and energy during a solar storm that hits the Earth, it causes a geomagnetic storm. Those storms can have dramatic effects on the Van Allen belts. It changes both their size, it usually makes them very big, it pumps them up, and it makes them very, very energetic. What we want to understand is if there's a disturbance on the sun, how do we expect the Van Allen radiation belt particles to change? And because they will change and therefore they will affect satellites uh, and technologies that they're flying in space and even on the surface of the Earth. The radiation belt storm probes will for the first time allow scientists to use two spacecraft to learn how the belts change over space and time. RBSP will let scientists answer questions surrounding the belts that have existed since their discovery more than half a century ago. This mission really will give us those answers and that's just exciting. I guess that's the exciting part about science in general. 